move on to another topic now, and uh, this is actually a follow-up to a story we had for you last night about a young girl named uh, Jennifer Colvin, who uh, is from Langley and did very, very well at the 4-H uh, competition. In fact, she has the Grand National Steer. Now, as a result of that, she and a bunch of other children went to the fair today, well, kind of for a bittersweet moment. It was the auction where their prized animals were sold off. Our Alan Cohn was there. For these members of 4-H, today was the day to say goodbye to an old friend. Yeah, you grow attached to them, but this is what they're raised for, you deal with it. It's the way the world works. And it's also a day full of tension. Sail day is kind of uh, scary sometimes. And tears. It can get easier with experience. First time was hard, it was real hard, like giving away something that you got gross, grew so attached to. But we've grown, I guess. Last year was my first year, and it was pretty, pretty bad. But it's never easy. I just don't want to get stepped on or anything because <laughs> it hurts. For Jennifer Colvin, who has this year's grand champion steer, these last few moments together were tough. And when the final gavel fell, Jennifer, ever the professional, put on a brave face. Um, I'm feeling happy because of the price, but. But a sad day nonetheless. Um, yeah. At the PE, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. The House of Donuts. This is an attraction that has had people coming for years and years. Those little donuts we actually had on the air the other night here on VTV, while well, our videographer, Alan Cohn, went out today to get the story bits behind the small donuts. For the past 21 years, those little donuts have been a peony tradition. There's always a lineup of people waiting to get their yearly fix of the sweet, deep-fried batter. For manager Jim McLean, it means another successful year at the fair. Everybody wants to buy a machine, um, and they always ask us where the when we're going to open a store here in Vancouver. Yeah, will that ever happen? Probably. And what do the regulars think? They're sweet and sugary and fattening. How many bags do you usually eat? Uh, I don't know. I could handle just one for now. What makes them so good? Oh, they're freshly made. They're unique to the fair. Always have them. Yeah, I've been coming here ever since I was a little kid getting them. They're the best. Well, I like them because they're so small and they taste really good. And I also like watching the donut machines making them. Are they healthy? Maybe not, but they're good. That's all I've talked about is the donuts. They're that they're good. They're legendary. They are legendary, but they were called Tom Thumb Donuts, but now they're just those little donuts. So I'm not sure what's happening, but I think that they're the same ones. Yes, they are the same ones. When the company divided in two in the mid-1980s, the name changed, but don't worry, the recipe's still the same. A recipe Jim won't divulge. Oh, well, if I told you guys then, Everybody would be into it and we wouldn't be making the donuts. So hurry, when the fair closes, it'll be another year till those little donuts are back in town. From the PE, feeling quite full, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television. A lot of people are buying tickets. Now, this is a neat contest, of course, wherein you get a beautiful house and property. Uh, the house is equipped with all the bells and whistles. This has been going on since the 1920s here at the PE. But one of the first houses to really be equipped with all the fixings was in 1934. So, where is that dream house now? Well, we sent out our videographer, Alan Cohn, to find out. For years, a trip to the PE would not be complete without dropping by the latest dream home. The tradition has its roots in the 1920s, but it wasn't until 1934 that the exhibition decided to go all out and display a home on the fair site as the year's grand prize. Well, that home survives to this day, and for the past 45 years or so, Maxine Delfo has lived there. And the kitchen is uh, actually pretty well the same area except for the window which we put in we got rid of the windows the double windows because it only showed the neighbor's wall so we made a cabinet out of that and uh, it works very well because you have such a small dining area really you don't have the room to put any kind of a cabinet a pool was put in about 40 years ago 
Much has changed, but not everything. Now this is the original bathtub and the sink, which was in that day had to be beautiful. I mean, it was a pretty green, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't have that in their homes. But it is still here. And what about the original winners of the house? Uh, it was a young couple, and they were engaged to be married, but they didn't, uh, didn't have very much. So they had bought tickets at the p and &E for 25 cents. And fortunately, they won the house, which was just great for a young couple starting out. So they moved into this house, and I guess they had nice times in here. They didn't have to move the house very far back in 34. It's only about half a block from the fair. Oh, I've loved it ever since the day we found it. I mean, uh, I love this house, and I hopefully plan on staying here until I uh, leave this, <laughs> this world. On Dundas Street, Alan Cohen, Vancouver Television.